I've been watching you in um, True Detective, and I'm really enjoying. You, I believe you said in the book that the script leapt off the page for you. It did, especially the words of the character Rustin Cole. Right, right, who you play. Marty Hart role that Woody played. Yes. You were offered that role. Yes. Yeah. And I read the thing, and I remember telling him, I said, guys, I understand why you're coming to me for Marty Hart. I go, but the guy who I cannot wait to turn the page to see what comes out of his mouth is this guy, Rustin Cole. And they were a bit surprised. Yeah, well, they're both complex characters, so you could see that either of them might have been attractive. But I was, I, I, I was quite struck by your, your characterization of, of Cole. Um, it reminded me of Heath Ledger, and that's why I wanted to talk to you about it. You, you play a dark character very well, if you don't mind me saying so. I mean... Thank you. Um, it's believable. I've known some dark people, and your portrayal is believable, very believable. And so that makes me wonder what price you pay for that. It's kind of a cliche, you know, you play a dark role and it invades you, but it isn't obvious to me how you can play a dark role without it invading you. And then, or at least you have to allow something dark in yourself to come out and respond to that. And you're very different on the screen playing Rust and Cole than you are in a romantic comedy role, clearly. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's somewhat surprising to see that transition, which I guess is why other people might be surprised by that too, which is why you actually had a bit of a hiatus when you stopped taking rom-com roles. But I'm curious, like, what did it, what were the consequences for you of playing that character in particular? That was a vacation for me. Also to, as a person who is a believer, to have to 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 be in a, in and in, in inhabit a character who is not a believer at all, and here's why: um, I'll tell you, I'll tell, I've always thought this was odd. At the time that I chose and wanted to go and have it, Rustin Cole was the time that my faith was strongest, and if my faith would have been as strong. I might have been a little more fearful of going so deep into this man's mind, spirit, and ethos. And so I you had, had some protection. But, and, but I, I trust... You're very nihilistic, the, the character yeah, yeah. Cole. Okay, so you talked about playing Cole in, in True Detective and that you were protected from his dark excesses, let's say, by your faith. Why did that provide you with... In what way did that provide you with protection? It's a striking thing to say, but you said your faith protected you from coal. Well, it was one of the things that, that allowed me to fully go into coal and fully believe coal and get down and live it and, and look at the world through that lens. Right. Um, I had already had year, a few years running my life where I was quite agnostic. It was my agnosticism was not about trying to prove the disbelief of God's existence. My agnosticism was about me going, you sure have been letting yourself off the hook, McConaughey, Mr. Fatalist, oh, I'll forgive you again because you're being a repeat offender and I'm kind of tired of it. Put your damn hands on the wheel, man. Talking to myself. Um, you're driving here and quit going to this, I can pray and be forgiven, but you're repeat offending. Cut it out. I had gone through a few years earlier in my life of, of agnosticism where I was not so much trying to prove a non-existence of God as I was trying to have more, understand more self-reliance and self-determination on myself. Cause I'd been letting myself off the hook. I knew I, I needed to feel like I was wholly responsible for myself and what happened to me that, that I was uh, um, uh, not going to let myself slide. There's an ideal per calling to you then, eh? Like when, when you experience yourself as, ashamed by your own behaviors. What that means is that there's an ideal inside you that's trying to manifest itself, right? Because you wouldn't be ashamed if you weren't comparing yourself to something better. Right. And the question then becomes, well, what is that better thing that you're comparing yourself to? And it's an ideal. And right. then the question becomes, well, what is the ideal? You know, and that's the sort of fleshing out what that ideal is, is the, that's the function of religious thinking. And so that's why I was interested in your comment about agnosticism. 
you know, um, in, in Revelation, in the book of Revelation, Christ comes back as a judge. Even though he's a figure of mercy, let's say, he comes back as a judge. And the reason for that, this is from Carl Jung, the reason for that is that any ideal is a judge. Mm -hmm. And so if you posit the highest ideal, then you put yourself in a position where you're judged. And that's when your conscience tortures you. And so you can discover your ideal that way by having a dialogue with your conscience and say, well, I'm not living up to who I should be. Well, who should that be? Like, where, where does that figure come from? Well, that's right. a great mystery that it's, it's, it's your higher, it's the higher form of being that you're capable of manifesting that's calling to you. I found that in my, it's, I call it like almost like a, a boomerang reverb. Wherever I am strongest in my own life, I find a, I like to go to the, I actually can inhabit the opposite even better. The deeper I go into whatever would be the creative the opposition, meaning when I've played prosecuting attorneys, I actually usually believe in the defense's position more and study their defense more, their position more, which then makes me again feel like an underdog over here to go, well, I really got to know what my argument is because I actually kind of agree with them. When I play defense attorneys, I'll usually agree or push myself to a point of agreeing with the prosecution. Well, at a time where my faith was the most fulfilled, Rustin Cole was like, ah, here's another great, here's another, what I call a boomerang reverb. Here's another time to go way over to the opposite side because I'm so coming out of here with so much steam and where I am and what I really believe and how I'm feeling in life. And you got newborn children and all the things that were opposition that I have in my life, opposition to what Rustin, who Rustin Cole was. That was, I, I, I don't know why that is, um, but I've all, I, I look back and I have had a consistency of, of, of that, of wherever I am in my life, sometimes I'll lay in and go play a character that I'm calling, but I'm also feeling like I'm drawing something. Well, now that you're so secure here, let's test it. Let's go all the way to the other side. Because over there, be, here what I'm saying, because I feel so strong in the position, say at that time with my faith, now I have the strength to go inhabit somebody over there that is on the opposite side and, and not have to keep my eyes open to make sure the door's open. I can trust that the door can be shut and I'll still be there when I'm at it, when I'm, when I'm done with this, I'm still, there. it's still happening. You don't have to see it because I don't want to see it. If, I, if I'm, if I'm peeking over there going, Hey, are we okay? God, are we okay with what I'm saying and doing here? No, no, no. Well, now I'm half-assing it. Now I'm not really inhabiting the part. I'm playing Rustin Cole going, I believe everything he says. I'm, I actually thought Rustin Cole was hilarious which you probably would now understand by I've laughed at two comments that from, from things that you said about the other people that spoke like Rustin Cole. Yeah, well, things can, be, things can be dark enough so that the immediate response to them can be laughter. Yeah. So I, I, um, that, 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 may, that may help explain what, I, what you're asking, but I, I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is for me. It's not a straightforward thing to, to sort out.